Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn about the login, register and the dashboard using the Firebase. Okay, so we are covering the, these three steps in login, register and the dashboard screen. We are going to show him the account info. Correct. So let's start the tutorial. So uh, we have to design the UI first, right? So let's go to the tutorial one. So here I have made components, dashboard.js, login.js and signup.js. Okay, so let's discuss about the signup.js. Basically, it's a text input field, right? So all other text input field, if you go and check the, uh, let's go to the click here for sign up first. Okay, name, email and the password. Correct. So here we have taken the field name, email and the password. Okay. And on, on change text, whenever we changing the text, we have update the value. So up this update dot value that taking the value and the props and stay, we are going to set this uh, state. Okay. So whatever value we are getting in, we are going to set into the state. Correct. So we, I think we have defined the state also that is email, password and the display name. Correct. So these we have already set into the state. And uh, uh, this, uh, all these things we are just uh, moving to the states and what is this one. So you are getting confused in that. If somebody knows about the React, uh, they have learned the React JS, so they know about it. We will discuss these things later on. But now we are going to just dealing with the forms and the login register and uh, dashboard, right? So here I am setting the state, get, like getting the uh, list storing, uh, like. On the runtime, we are saving the values in the particular state that is display name, email and the password. Correct. So after this, we have to hit the button that is called sign up. So we have register user function on press. Whenever you click on the sign up button, it will go to the which function on press register user. So this is a full fledged function. So we will check email is not to be empty and the password not to be empty if we are showing the alert else we will loading is to be true and uh, we will go with the next one so this is a firebase auth create user with email for password this is a function of the firebase with getting the parameters email and the password right and it will update the profile and uh, uh, the state or display name we are this is update the profile uh, update the profile right this is basically you can see a user dot update profile and photo URL. All these things are uh, you can see Firebase method, Firebase user dot update profile. So here we are updating the profile with the state display name. Anything else we have photo URL only display name and the photo URL. So we are just updating the display name and we will console in the log that the user is successfully loading and we will set the state again display name blank password blank. And loading blank then it will navigate to the and this props dot navigation we will navigate to the login screen to add your login details right uh, else we are catching the error messages that something went wrong or something like this right so this is basically a user registration phenomena that we have done next we have a login so in the login we again do the same thing we have the input field and again we are taking the two inputs and on the user login button click, we have used the Firebase auth sign up with email and the password, which uh, sh uh, sh like with the appropriate records we are uh, adding that is email and the password. So then we were user log logged in successfully and the state email and password going to be empty and navigate to the dashboard. And on the dashboard.js, what we are printing, we are using state dot display dot name. So this dot we have already current user we have saved the display uh, name so it will showing this dot state we are getting and uh, display name so here we have the sign out also to navigate to the login screen again right so this is you can see the dashboard and all right so here we are displaying the name and in the app.js I will go through the structure also so that you can create your own with tutorial. So here we have using the navigation stack for the navigation stack integration. You need to follow this tutorial. Uh, you, this is a fresh app created. After that, we have to use react navigation native. 
then uh, you need to put here react reanimate and all this mask view and react navigation stack then um, firebase we have already added right after this stack integration you need to add this one stack navigator initial route that is sign up after that screen options we have defined stack screen sign up sign up then we have a dashboard screen correct then that is close okay so this is the full on tutorial on the on the you can see firebase now we are going to the now the checking how it is working so first of all i'm going to sign up oh i forget to add the firebase console okay so move to the firebase console so in the project overview here i have you need to create a project for the web this uh, you can go to the firebase first for in, you have to need to add add a project first right on adding the project it's a uh, on add project and you are, uh, enter the detail step and all i confirm right after adding the detailings you will see like this phone i have added this on phone number so in this you have to create the web part this is a web part right web app you need to create this one and in this i have already created so in the um, integrations no you, you have to go with the journal we have a sign in methods so this is base this file is very important that you need to copy this whole file and you need to paste it in a database where i have created the database fire.base.js without this the integration is zero so for creating the accounts and all these things this file is very very important right so add this file using the this this all these stuffs okay and enable and you need to enable the sign in methods so so where is users and permissions i think there would be signing signing method i forgot where to add sign in method authentication let's check yeah now you can see the sign in method so i have choose the enable email and the password so you can add a new provider also that whether google facebook and github everything you can use it so if basically i'm using the email and the password and add the domain that is localhost by default that i am adding so you can if you have you are using some uh, like live urls or something you can use you can add the domains accordingly right so this is okay so you can see that i have the list of all the users that i have created right now okay with the user id identifier correct so now we are i'm going to create a one user and check is it there or not so here let's go to the screen so i'm putting the name so sign up hello world email i'm adding email is rajni at the rate uh, rajni kant 193 at the rate gmail dot com then we are adding the password one two three four five six okay sign up so it moved to the login screen check first reload this so rajni kant 1993@gmail.com is available now right so i'm trying to log in so uh, let me check what exactly it is rajni rajni kant 1993 at the rate gmail dot com and password right two three four five sorry one two three four five six sign in 
hello world this this is my display name you can see that this is my display name go to edit or uh, something there is an option like uh, no there is only reset disable or delete account nothing else you can do with this maybe there is a not highly paid so you can see that uh, i have saved the hello world and you can see that username i have fetched successfully right uh, you can see that okay so you can log out also so i'm going to log out log out functionality is also working so you can see that it comes back to the signing process okay so this is the four steps that we have done today using the firebase i hope you understand and uh, this is a this is i think uh, in on if you're doing the google also this is the one of the you can see you can get all the like login register and dashboard perfectly working okay thank you so much for watching this video have a great day please do like share and comment have a great day